what I've got here is a copy of VMware Workstation and within this copy of Workstation I'm going to create the virtual machine that is going to be the reference machine for my ThinUp application I'm just going to browse for the install ISO now I'm going to use Windows XP which you may find strange but it's considered good practice if you are um, creating thin up applications to make them on the oldest operating system that you're likely to deploy them on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Windows XP virtual machine I'm going to create my thin up application on that machine and then I'm going to deploy it to a Windows 7 machine so all standard settings for my virtual machine now for the purpose of the video I've speeded up the build of XP quite considerably this is possibly going to be the quickest XP install you've ever seen and with Workstation by default it'll install the VMware tools once you've created the virtual machine now stop it keep asking me that my computer's at risk I'm just gonna change the security settings in security center change the way it alerts me and turn all that off just to stop it bugging me I'm going to knock up the display settings so I have some decent widescreen resolution so we can see what we're doing better Now I've got machine built, I'm going to close it down and I'm going to go into the properties of that virtual machine and I'm going to take away anything I'm not going to use like the floppy drive, USB controller etc. and now let's power that machine back on again ok I'm going to drag across from the parent machine the install executable for thin up I'm just going to drag that on the desktop And let's install ThinUp. This is the Enterprise Edition. You will need to supply a license key and a license display name. Now, whatever you put in this bottom box here, where I'm typing Pnet Live, will appear on the pop up menu at the bottom when you launch your ThinUp applications, which I'll show you later. that's thin up installed I don't need the install media anymore just clear that out of the recycle bin now I'm going to put a shortcut to thin up on the desktop of my reference machine and now because this is a nice clean machine I'm going to take a snapshot of it 
It's recommended that you take a snapshot of your machine and every time you create a new thin up you can roll back to it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the Chrome browser on here and that's the application that I'm going to thin up. So that's the installer for Google Chrome. But before I run it, I'm going to start thin up. And the welcome screen, click next. And I'm going to perform a pre scan. And what this will do is it will run around the machine, it'll take a snapshot of all the files and the uh, registry settings, and it will now tell you to install the application. You can simply minimize that. Now, if during the course of uh, installing your application you have to reboot, don't worry. That will still keep running in the background. So I'll install Google Chrome. Now, being as Google Chrome is a good browser, it has already got Flash enabled. So I don't need to install that. But what I do need to do is install Java. So let's pop across and install Java. Okay, let's download him. Again, I've sped this up for the purpose of the video. That's my Java successfully installed. Let's just make sure that it is working. If I go back there and refresh, it should tell me the Java is installed and working. Now let's set one of the welcome tabs to Google. Okay. And let's close that down and just make sure that opens up with Google as the main page. Set that as default. So that's pretty much my browser in and configured how I want it. So I'm going to clear out that from downloads because I don't want to be taking that across with my thin up. I'm going to get rid of the install media. And I'm going to empty the, everything out of the recycle bin because I don't want it to find that on its second pass when it does its post scan. Once that's done, I can do a post scan and this will run through once again and check all the files and registry settings and work out the difference. For entry points, essentially you're going to want to untick everything that is not Google Chrome. These are all the executables and MSI's bits and bobs that it's encountered since I did the post scan. But the one I want is Google Chrome. Set next, I'm not using Horizon App Manager, so click next. Uh, in a domain environment, you can put uh, particular permissions for users and groups from Active Directory on who can use it. I'm going to leave it as full right access. Now, this is where the sandbox is going to be created, and I'm going to leave it in user profile. So, when your users run the application, their sandbox is created in their user profile, which of course they have rights to, so they don't need to be local administrators to um, run thin up applications. Uh, this is quite uh, an interesting thing because it's uh, it's detected that I'm snapshotting a browser you can put particular URLs in here that you might want to open with this browser so if I were to put my URL in here 
then when this thin app application was installed on the machine every time you went to that URL it would use Google Chrome and if you went to any other URL it would use the default browser which is quite a cool feature but it's, it's not something we want to use today so just be aware that it's there if you've got an old website that will only render an IE6 or something like that it's quite handy for that but like I say I'm not going to use that today Click next uh, give it a sensible name it will have picked up a crazy one from somewhere so I'm going to call my thin up application Chrome complete with Java next uh, I'm going to, where it says entry point at the top I'm going to put everything within that one executable it will moan about that in a minute but this is quite a handy feature you can turn just about anything into an MSI package if you wanted to um, distribute it by group policy that's quite handy the amount of uh, packages that don't come as an MSI is uh, quite large uh, I'm not going to bother with compression so I'm going to save those settings and carry on that's it morning then I'm that it wants to save my stuff as a separate DAT file but I'm going to save everything into one executable and it'll generate the difference between the pre and post scan if there's anything that you want to edit you can do so here but to actually build your executable simply click build again I've sped this up It'll usually take a few minutes and that's your application built. Now because I've ticked at the bottom there to open the folder containing the project files when I've finished, as soon as I click finish there is my standalone thin up executable uh, just to prove that this works I'm going to uh, copy that off screen onto my client machine and then I'm going to jump across to a Windows 7 virtual machine that I've already got created and I'm going to drag that standalone exe onto that machine so now when I run my thin app it should run Google Chrome from this standalone executable if I open that up See down in the bottom, see where it says license to PeakNet Live? That's because I entered PeakNet Live in the very first dialog screen when we installed ThinUp, just uh, below the serial number. And there's Google Chrome configured with Java enabled and the home page set running as a standalone executable. And the reason why it works, I alluded to this earlier, is that it puts its sandbox files in your user profile. So if you have a look in your user profile in AppData, that's a hidden folder by the way, so you need to have hidden files and folders turned on to be able to see that. If you look in Thinstall, there is the sandbox where it's putting all the files and bits and bobs and changes that you are making, rather than putting them in program files where they would usually be. And the reason why all this works is because it is in your user profile, which you have rights to. So you don't have to be administrator to run Thinsel applications or thin up applications. That's us done. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.pignetlive.com.